our, our position is that rather than more coercion, we want to add value to the French language. We want to help people to give them incentives to implant French in their small businesses, but not add obligations on businesses that are already overloaded with different types of administrative uh, burdens. Now, if amendments are presented, uh, we have a responsible parliamentary team. They will look at the amendments and study them. But again, our fundamental choice here, it's a, it's a very significant divide, politically but speaking, between more coercion. But the bill the includes other, many yeah. more things than just uh, small business. For example, the bilingual status of municipalities. Or do you think 50% is yeah. enough for a municipality? I to think it's an unnecessary irritant uh, to be brought in front of the people. Or boom. I find very important this, the status of their municipality. I don't think it's needed. I don't think this type of measure will protect French or the French language or, the, or our culture. The last time I spoke and met uh, Dr. Porter was a big uh, event done for him in the spring of 2012 where a couple of hundred Montrealers were there uh, give, paying him homage for his contribution to Montreal. So you see the contrast now. I haven't spoken with him since then. Now, about the Charbonneau Commission, you have noted that the Liberal Party, although it's not an excuse, it's not a defense to say that, but it's not reality, it's just reality. The Liberal Party is not the only party that has been mentioned in terms of, uh, let's say, irregular or potentially irregular methods of fundraising. And we have all to assume this responsibility. I think it's not good that the signature of Quebec is still not under the Constitution of Canada. Now, we need to be uh, methodical in the way we're going to approach this. And the first thing to do is within our party, to discuss this question of identity or the specific nature of Quebec and then have conversations with the other governments of Canada on how this could be uh, approached, maybe in combination with other items or other topics. I've noted, for example, that Mr. Harper wants to talk about the science reform. This could be one window of opportunity and as well as, as kind of a symbolic window would be the 150th anniversary of the country in 2017. Thank you.